Hi, what's going on guys? So in this video, I wanted to show off this free plugin called Interactive Worlds, uh, I believe it's called, and I wanted to show you how you can use it on game animation sample, as you can see here. I've got my Deadpool project and yeah, so it's working. There is one thing that isn't working though, and I'll just show you right now, is the mud interactions. So if I move this around, there's like mud interactions, but for some reason, the character just doesn't wanna interact with the mud. So I'll get into that a bit later, but first, let me just show you the plugin. So the plugin is right here. It's called Interactive World. And I've known about this plugin for a while now, but this has just got a new update for 5.5. So yeah, I'll leave a link to this in the description so you guys can just add this to your library. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is just install this onto whatever engine you're using. I'm using 5.5. And then we can make a new project using game animation sample. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just go into plugins. Let's go to other, or you can even just type in interactive world in the search bar. What we need to do is just enable this and restart it. All right. So once you've done that, we can go to a content browser and you're going to want to go to settings and make sure that show engine content is highlighted and show plugin content. Then we can go to engine and then plugins. I'll just move this out of the way real quick. In here, we're looking for the interactive world. So it's going to be an I and it's right here, interactive world content. And we can go to maps and open up the demo map. We can leave this open. Then we can go to demo and go to blueprints and open up the BP underscore IW character. So obviously with this character, all of the inputs aren't set up, but that's fine. We don't really need, I'm not going to be using this character. So all we need in this project is all of these here, the BP underscore shape brush, and then all of this stuff here, the brush fluid and turbulence. And we're also going to need this for the foot placements too. But as I said, it wasn't working for me, but I'm going to try it with this new project and see if it's working. First, what I'm going to do is just copy all of these. So the shape brush right left mud step and we're going to open up our character so blueprint open up the sandbox character we can paste these in here just move these into the mesh because we need to put these all in the right places so the parent socket for these are going to be for the left foot right foot but if we quickly go to the iw character real quick and just check out some of these for the mud step it is using the ik for l so this is the same one that we're going to be using too first let's just copy I'm just going to copy this and we're going to want to put this in shape brush right. So let's go to shape brush right, paste that and get that in there. And as you can see, it's not in the right place. We can just do this and it'll put it in the right place. I'm not sure if we have to put this a little bit more down. I do want to check that real quick. doesn't look like we need to, so that's completely fine. We can leave that as it is. And then do the same thing here for shape brush left. I'm just going to search for foot L foot L and just reset the position so it's at, um, at the right place and now need to quickly just see which one it is IK foot L is for this one so let's just search for IK foot L and this one is just for R I believe foot R I'm also going to copy the brush fluid and turbulent Paste them in here too. And one more thing we need to do, let's go to the mesh and open up the character ABP animation blueprint. And we also want to open up the animation blueprint for this character too. So if we check here real quick, we do have this uh, notify here for, for L and for right for the mod. If we quickly go back to the character, go here. We do want to copy these codes right here and paste them into our character. So I'll just paste them somewhere here. It's fine. Compile, save. Let's go to ABP and I'm just going to copy these nodes right here. I'm going to paste them here. Thing is, we don't actually need this. We don't actually need any of this really. We, all we need is this. I could have just like searched for, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to just search for Sandbox character. Get Sandbox character. We're going to right click on here and convert to validated get. Place that into there. And for this, let's just search for foot L. I'm going to copy paste this. Search for foot R. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm doing this wrong, but that's all we really need to do. We can compile, save that and if we just press play here it is going to freeze a little bit this does happen the first time but after 
a few seconds it should come back and it's gonna freeze for all of the interactions the first time but once you do it for the first time all right so as you can see the foot interactions for the mud isn't working i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm doing wrong there maybe somebody in the comments can help me out but yeah it's another freeze just once this is done it should be fine but as you can see we're interacting with the water too pretty cool and the the bushes as well but as you can see we're actually interacting with the bush yeah the only downside is the um, foot interaction with the mud that's something that i was really hoping i could figure out but it is what it is we do have at least we have the water and we have the snow too so of course i am using snow from ultra dynamic sky for the interactions which i do prefer i do think they look better but for anybody else that doesn't have ultra dynamic sky for example this is definitely a great alternative to that and of course this does have everything else too and you can pretty much create anything to be interactive you can just use like a mega scan bush or something like that and then turn that into an interactive bush too but yeah anyway that's gonna be it for the video hopefully you liked it and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one